Donald Trump's rhetoric underscores the imperative restoration of law and order in the heart of New York City. Aligning with democratic principles that champion public safety and unequivocal support for law enforcement. To address middle cities in America and give them hope to restore the American dream. Atlanta, New York, Philly, Chicago, DC. We're going to come in and number one, you have to stop crime. And we're going to let the police do their job. They have to be given back their authority. They have to be able to do their job. And we're going to come into New York. We're making a big play for New York. Other cities too, but this city. I love this city, and it's gone so bad in the last three years, four years, and we're going to straighten New York out. So running for president, we're putting a big hit on New York. We think we can win New York. With a half a million migrants that poured in and take over the parks, they took over your hotels, they take over everything. It's no good. And you know what they've done? They've destroyed so many people. The African-American community now is not getting jobs. Migrants are taking their jobs that are here illegally. Hispanics are not getting jobs. Migrants are taking the jobs. If you look at the unemployment, the unemployment is good for migrants now. It went up 10 percent, all migrants. And they're, they're in our country. Now, they're coming from prisons. I don't know if you know. They come from mental institutions. They come from prisons. They come from places you don't want to know about. They, they're coming from jails and prisons, mental institutions, and insane asylum. And you have massive numbers of terrorists coming into our country, all because of Biden. And by the way, this trial that I have now, that's a Biden trial. They want to keep me off the campaign trail. But based on what I'm doing, I think there's more press here than there is uh, if I went out to some nice location. Interpreters discern Trump's discourse as a clarion call for bolstered policing strategies to combat the surging crime rates. Trump's proposed paradigm for law enforcement must reckon with the delicate balance between individual liberties, societal coherence, and the paramount importance of communal safety. The specter of illegal immigration casts a long shadow over job prospects, particularly in African-American and Hispanic enclaves, reflecting widespread apprehensions about economic displacement and labor market volatility. I advocate for stringent border security measures, citing valid concerns regarding the potential influx of individuals bearing criminal pedigrees or harboring nefarious intentions, echoing Donald Trump's critique of Joe Biden's immigration agenda. The ramifications of immigration policies reverberate across multiple fronts, including threats to national identity, cultural homogeneity, the specter of terrorism, and the proliferation of criminal enterprises. Trump's depiction of his legal ordeal as a partisan vendetta orchestrated by the Biden administration underscores the systemic biases entrenched within the legal apparatus and mainstream media. The elusive nature of truth, the inherent power dynamics shaping narrative construction, and the public's perception of individual subjectivity and authenticity are all integral facets of the discourse surrounding Trump's trial.